Hello and welcome back again. So I'm just uh, finished stitching. I said I would stitch. Um, so here's what I've made out of that two pieces of card. I've got a large tag, a small tag and a journal card and I have backed them with coffee dyed paper. So that's where, where I'm up to. They're all stitched around the edge there. I'm just checking that this is recording. There we go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just add a little bit of uh, decoration. So I've got a little bit, tiny, tiny pieces here of um, just acrylic paint. Uh, and I'm just going to, I haven't got a, a palette like Tracy had, so I'm just going to see if this knife will let me just spread some colour. It doesn't like it. Do you know what? Fingers. Hey. Just to introduce some little bits of colour onto the cards. Not lots. I've put that out but I think it's too red and I don't really want reds in in the journal. What I will try and do is just try a little of it. <laughs> I should have brought um a cloth with me. Just try some of the red, ready one on here. Yeah, it's too too red for the journal, so I'm not going to be using that. Oh, oh, oh. No, it's too red. Um, but it doesn't matter on that small one. I can use that tag somewhere else. It doesn't matter. And then uh, what I have got is some of this gold, Inca gold, um, gloss, fast drying metal gloss paint that I've just been using it like a, a wax, a rubbing wax. And all I've been doing is just on the edges of things. nice on there that gold so just tiny little pit bits on on the edges no wonder my fingers are all in a mess is it edges of here. There we go. I'm going to be using that later. I've got um, an old, mass massive it is, uh, for a picture frame. It had uh, a picture of one of the kids in when they were young and it's a big ornate thing. So I've bought some chalk paint and I'm, it's it's a tacky horrible brass colour thing, I don't know. Anyway, so I've bought this chalk paint and I'm going to paint over it and then I'm just going to dab some of that ink of gold oh, in different places on there. And that's filthy. So, that's there, they're done. Um, this, I'm going to use these. Uh, I did just like, like that little bit of linen scrap thing just there. 
along that edge so I'm just going to put some of this glue down this clear glue it's really Aileen's I think that's how you say it like Aileen's clear gel tacky glue come on come on come on, come on. I know you're working because I've used you once there we go oh I've just had a, a panic before um we've had a, a bird in the house it was a swallow oh, yeah. Dave I'm recording it's okay. Um, it's me. It's, then we've got the front door open, and they did flown in. I don't. I think I panicked more than it. In fact, I know I panicked more than it. Um, and I might put a little bit of this lace there. I don't know. Maybe. flowers in but no just on that edge there so from about here come on I'm disappointed in that red come on There we go. The swallows they come, they've just arrived. Um we, we don't get obviously don't get them all year, uh, but they've just arrived for breeding and before they move on. Um and because we have a swimming pool, they love us they love it when it's got the water in because they dive in for drinks and uh, to dip themselves cool themselves off in the hot weather it's quite lucky the door was open really because if it had flown in to the door it would be a very poorly bird we have one of our cats that sits by the side of the pool um, and he actually has caught them before before now. Uh, when they swoop down for the water, he, we were sat watching one day and he was just sat by the pool. He, he lays down almost flat so that they don't see him and he lies very still and lets them lets them uh, die for a while and then when they've almost forgotten he's there he jumped this particular day and he, he actually caught one of the birds I've never seen anything like it um, and we, there was no way we could stop him. Uh, we didn't expect him to. Now when we see him crouch down at the side of the pool, we move him on. But we have um, some good cats. We live Where we live, it's quite rural. And there's lots of uh, chickens uh, and roosters about the neighbours have chickens obviously for the eggs and chicken meat um, and one day our youngest cat Rose came home with a, a chicken <laughs> it's obviously dead um, it wasn't a full grown one because I think they can hold their own against cats um, but it wasn't like a little chick it was a decent size, I don't know how on earth she carried it all. Uh, and she brings us mice, 
and rats. Um, there's another one that catches the snakes because we have snakes up here. They're very generous cats, they always bring them. Uh, sometimes I get up in the morning and when I go outside there's the remains of something on the doorstep. So they're giving that one a, a linen tag on there. And that one there, that journal card. I'm not going to, I might do something with this, I don't know what. What shall I do with that? I can give it a little bit of a, a tag, can't I? I might. Oh, I'm messy, am I? I am such a mess. Let's get rid of it before I can throw up or have a look with it. Um, just take that off. That knife. I am a messy, messy, messy crafter. Yeah. So. That's a journal card, so I'm not putting a tag on that one. That's going to go into a, a pocket. Um, I think I'm just going to use a little of this. As a tag. Done. Sorry. I can't think of the word as a this. <laughs> what am I like? Come on, glue. I did decant some of this glue into um, one of the tiny bottles that you can get, you know, with a like pin pin shaped nozzle oh it took an absolute age to fill it and then it took an absolute age to get any of it out so i came back to the original bottle this cheesecloth and this lace were from a scarf that i had <sighs> you look at things in a completely different way don't you when you're a crafter um, so, I don't know whether to do anything else with those, or just leave them be. I quite like them like that. I was thinking of putting toppers on because I'm doing vintage, and I thought they might be nice with toppers on, but do you know, I quite like them just as they are. This is the journal that they're going to be going into. It's, um, I'm going to have to cut that down, I'm not going to go in that journal, is it? doesn't matter that I've measured fancy measuring the journal card but then not the tag but it doesn't matter I can do, do something with it so I think they'll be nice in here just as they are so I'm going to leave them I'm not going to put anything on on top of them I'm just going to leave them at that so I hope you've enjoyed watching that and these are my attempts at uh, Tracy's Tracy Fox's um, scrap tag challenge thank you and see you soon